It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely something different, but you know, uh, we, we came out of the day with with no injuries. You know, we already lost a, a big player on the team with J-Ball. So, um, you know, I, I think that's what Coach Simon's main emphasis of, of today was, to get out here, get, get a lot of reps, have a lot of fun, get in front of the fans, make some plays, and uh, come out of here healthy, and we did that today. Explain the difference between this year and last year. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's a lot different. It's a lot different. Just two different coaching staff, uh, coaching staffs with, you know, some different perspectives on things and kind of, how they run things, this is it's, it's different. You know, it's no matter where you're at, every every program is going to be different in their own way and going to run run it the way they the, the way that they want to run it. You know, and that's how Coach Lyman came in here from the get go and established himself and how he wanted to run this program. And we we've bought in ever ever since day one, and we've had so much fun. It's been so much fun getting to know Coach Lyman and this new coaching staff. You know, each and every day, as I was saying out here on the field, you know, practice don't even feel like practice. Like. Waking up at 6 a.m. for film, like it, it don't even feel like work because it's just fun. And the coaches taking their time, uh, the time out of the day to, to get to know us as, as people rather than just the football player it means so much to us. And it just makes us want to go and do that just mu that much more for them. So it means a lot to me. It's, uh, it's, it's been a really good spring. You know, I've, I'm, I'm really pleased with, the, with how far I've come from day one to right now is, you know, it's night and day different. And, uh, you know, there's a there's still a, a long ways to go, but you know, I'm, I'm really going to dial it in and get focused up this this summer and get ready for fall camp, and we're going to be ready to go in the fall. I promise. How different is it to come in this spring, kind of as as the guy? Right? Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, I was saying earlier, it's just it's just a confidence confidence thing. <laughs> it feels good to have a you know have a, a feeling that you know my coaches and my my teammates believe in me and trust me, and it just. It gives me a lot of confidence. It gives me a lot of confidence to go make plays and not second guess myself. I'm never looking over my shoulder, um, and you know it, it's it's elevated our offense. You know just from the continuity part of it so much. So I'm really thankful for that, and you know it's 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 a blessing. You know I'm I'm really fortunate to be in this position with with Coach Kleiman and his new staff. I'm I'm loving it, and I'm you know I'm loving the game. So this this is what it's all about. How have you seen Ryder's in um, To Hunter. Yeah, I mean, he, he's came a long ways. You know, I, I really think with his offense that he ran at Michigan State, it's really similar to the verbiage to what we what we do with our offense in the pro-style language. So he uh, he's done a great job, you know, and as far as our whole receiving core in general. You know, it's there's a lot of stuff going on with what we do with, with shift trading and motion and, and just a lot of unbalanced stuff. Like, it, it's a lot of little detailed things that you can mess up that can, you know, make a difference in the play. So... Uh, he's done a great job of, of, you know, help leading that that receiving core along with Dalton Schoen. You, you got Zub that hasn't, you know, he couldn't, unfortunately, couldn't participate in the spring. But we got a lot, a lot of good guys in that in that uh, that receiving group, that receiving room that has a lot, a lot of talent. You know, I'm really looking forward to to, to working with those guys some more this this summer and really elevating our our continuity with one another. And you know, Hunter Hunter's going to be a big part of our offense in the fall. You know, I I love I love Sammy. I, I love that story of him switching to tight end. Um, you know, whenever I heard the news uh, <laughs> that we switched him, uh, one of our younger quarterbacks was, came up to me. He was like, "Hey, did you you hear about Sammy?" And I was like, "Oh no!" Like I I thought that you know he he left the team or something happened, and he was like, "No, he moved him tight end." And I got to thinking about it, and I was like, "Shoot! Like he's a big kid. He has a good frame. He can put on some weight. He's really athletic." Like. I really hope he embraces this because if he does, he can really make a big impact on this on this offense. I mean, you guys saw it today. Look, I mean, that catch he made in the end zone with the one hand to finish it all up. Like he's been making ever since he's he switched over, he has embraced every opportunity and he makes plays. He works and he just has a great attitude. And you know, Sammy's going to be successful. I'm so excited to to get a guy like that. You know, with with how much we throw to the tight end and get the tight end involved in the passing game, like. You can create so many mismatches, and with how athletic Sammy is, and he's going to put on some weight this summer, and you know it's it's going to give us a big advantage. And I'm really looking forward to that. What are your thoughts on running backs? On the running backs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, James, he's the he, he grad transfer from Ball State. Really got to know James pretty well. Uh, he's a great, great guy. Has a lot of game experience. You know, he's kind of quiet, but I'm, I'm telling you, every day he, he straps it up and comes to work. And same with Harry. Harry Trotter has really, really impressed me. He, he he works really hard. He runs hard. He makes good cuts. He reads his block. I mean, they those guys both, they're not the biggest guys in the world, and uh, but they're, they're not afraid to go step up there and block somebody or run through an arm tackle. You know, like those, 
those types of things will really separate, you, you know, your your gameplay from others. And especially in this offense, you know, we're we're kind of a running downhill power power run game offense. So getting that getting that established is going to be really big for us, and they're going to be a really big part of it. And also Tyler Burns, Tyler Burns uh, coming back to the team was huge for us. Gave us some more depth and uh, another uh, versatile back out of the backfield that can get out and uh, run some routes. Has good hands and just a great great guy. Like you know, that, that's the thing about this whole team. We got every every guy on our on our team are, are great people and really treat people with respect in the right way and uh, hold that K-State standard of just how we how we treat one another and treat each other as family so I'm really fortunate to be surrounded by some great teammates. What are your for a couple more? This year? What's that? After, after last season, what are your expectations for so many new people and new coaches? Yeah, well it's, for dang sure not being 5-7 and seven. Oh. you know that's that's the thing, and and I don't want to win six games to be bowl eligible either. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, achieve, you know, something we haven't achieved in a, in a while around here, and that's been my goal ever since you know I stepped foot on campus. And if that wasn't my goal, then man, I'm, I'm failing you guys. I'm failing this fan base. I'm failing this university. Like, if we're if we're not trying to to work and and go win championships around here, then. You know, I, I need to I need to find a different position or get out of this sport because that's not what it's all about. You know, and um, you know it's it's my past. You know, three years here, it's we've we've had a lot of success, but we just never been able to just get over that hump. And you know, we'll start out the season with you know losing a couple games in a row, then we'll kind of get in a in a rhythm and win win late in the you know fighting for a bowl game at the end. You know, I'm. And Coach Klein has done a great job of, of saying this and stating is we're not rebuilding around here. Like we are going to come out and we're going to we're going to try to you know we're winning from the beginning. That's going to be our goal and that's going to be our standard that we're going to live by every single day. We're living by a championship standard and that's that's how it's going to be. And if you don't want to live by that, then you know you don't belong to Kansas State. One more. Thanks. You, you feel like this is your team? Got yeah, yeah. I, I know it's my team. Um, you know, it's it's been well aware. Um, to me, that, that that's the case, and I say that with all the you know humbleness in the world is possible. You know, I'm I'm, I'm just I'm really fortunate to uh, you know have this thing by the reins, and it, it means a lot to me. And I, I think it's going to really help our football team really get over that hump and, and and have a have a great season this year. And having the the trust of my teammates, knowing they trust me and I trust them, like it, it's just gonna it's gonna elevate everything. And I'm I'm really thankful for Coach Kleiman and our coaching staff for just. How the already like the short period of time we've been together, how much time they've invested in me and learning this offense and developing me as a person and as a player already, like I, I just can't I can't thank him enough, and I'm I'm so excited to get keep working with them and you know it, there's way far more stuff that that's, that lies ahead as far as what's to learn and what's to come, but you know I'm gonna take it day by day and work my butt off and the rest will take care of itself.